Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about season 10 of American Horror Story and whether or not that is going to be the last season and what the story could potentially be to connect all of the seasons that came before it. If you're really liking the content, why don't you like the video and subscribe for more American Horror Story discussion videos in the future. Now, in order to explain this, I want to go all the way back to 2014 where Ryan Murphy was talking to EW about the reintroduction of Sister Mary Eunice in Freak Show. He said, and I quote, This is the first year where we begin to tell that season two is connected to season four, which is connected to season one. People have started writing articles about that a lot of their hypotheses have been completely right that's the fun of this show hopefully by the end of the run be it 10 years or 15 years people will be able to stand back and be able to say, oh, that was connected to X. There's definitely a rhyme or a reason and a connectedness to all of these seasons, but in the same way, there's standalones, which is the fun of it, but it is a puzzle. Now, before I do go any further on this, I've seen in the community, also in my comment section, people talking about the connections of American Horror Story. And while it is true, Ryan Murphy has said, not only in that interview, but in multiple other interviews, that each and every single season is supposed to be taken as a standalone event, you cannot deny the fact that he is promised over and over again that each and every single one is connected. And by the end of the entire series run, we're going to see how all of it connects and we're going to be able to go back and understand the story that was being told. At least that's the way I perceive his promise that everything is connected. If that wasn't the case, why even do any of this? Why connect all of these situations, characters, and events to each other if there's no broader purpose for it? But this ultimately leads to a major question. What is the broader connection of American Horror Story? What are they trying to tell? And while the answer right now is a little bit unclear, I want to go back and talk about a very popular fan theory that's been kind of making the rounds ever since even before the connection and freak show was put in front of us and that is everything that's happening in American Horror Story represents one of the nine circles of hell and that is Limbo is Murder House, Lust at this point would be 1984, Gluttony is Hotel, Greed is Freak Show, Anger is Roanoke, Heresy is Cult, Violence is Apocalypse, Fraud is Asylum, and Treachery is Coven. If you break it down into that easily contextualized idea, then it is starting to make sense. But the idea that we're getting a 10th season of this series kind of dashes that entire concept, right? You cannot have nine circles of hell while having multiple more seasons that are connected to this. So the question becomes, how does season 10 play into the broader narrative of American Horror Story? And this is basically my pitch for American Horror Story season 10, for which I will title it just as a placeholder for right now, American Horror Story epilogue. In my mind, we would use the first nine seasons of American Horror Story as a symbol for the nine circles of hell, but we're going to use the entire season runtime in order to catch up with all the events that took place over the course of the first nine seasons, ultimately connecting all of them and giving at least a little meaning to everything that's been going on. In my mind, the season begins with Kit Walker from American Horror Story Asylum being abducted by the aliens and cured of his cancer. Answer. While these creatures conduct several different experiments on his body and ultimately leave him in somewhat of a dark void. So in this version, Kit's character represents Dante for which the nine circles of hell come from. When Kit is in this dark place, he is rescued by a new character played by Sarah Paulson representing Virgil's character and both of them are joined by the angel of death from American Horror Story Asylum. Of course, this is just my fan wish list for this season. It does not have to be Kit. It doesn't have to be connected to Asylum at all. It could just be some of the original actors from the series playing brand new characters during the events of this season. But as a fan of the series, I've always wondered what happened to Kit at the end of Asylum and what happened to these characters, these worlds, the aliens, and everything connected to those individuals. So at the end of the day, what's important is what this season represents and what the story follows throughout its run. From there, I think one of the things you would do is go season by season, maybe an episode or two, 
focusing on the characters that were introduced throughout all of American Horror Story. Going back and exploring the Coven Witches, My Roanoke Nightmare, Asylum, 1984, etc. And while you have the time to go back and explore all these past events, you can start putting a bow around everything that we've seen throughout the first nine seasons. Going back and elaborating on the witches, the idea of the Supreme, and how all of these events are truly connected. And that way this season not only begins begins as far forward as you could possibly go with this story, but you give the fans at least one of the broadest perspectives of this show and everything that's happened throughout this series. While not having to sit there and over explain all the connections that we've seen thus far, or not having to explain why every single season is intimately connected to the one that came before it. At the end of the day, all you really have to establish is going back, exploring epilogue scenes from every single season of the show thus far, is a way of explaining one of the nine circles of hell and how they all fit together. It doesn't even have to go in any particular order. It could go in the nine circles of hell that I established earlier without having to focus on the linear path that we saw this series with Murder House, Asylum, Coven, etc. And you could leave the door open enough for fans to interpret and speculate what it was that this season meant and what the overall story of the series means in general. And one of the reasons I really like this idea is that it allows the story to go back and explore the characters that we left behind so many seasons ago. We get an epilogue for their characters and what they're up to now. It's less of American Horror Story and more of just a celebration of everything that came before and allowing us to see the aliens one last time. And while also establishing them, not entirely, but somewhat, as the godlike creatures that Ryan Murphy spoke of in 2013 when he said, and I quote, For me, aliens have always been an obvious metaphor for God. It fits very easily into the world of a Catholic sanitarium asylum. It was also about science versus faith, so it made sense to me. The show is a show that pays tribute to a lot of horror masters. We take that seriously, so I always love the alien idea of it. Setting up aliens as the godlike creatures throughout all of American Horror Story has always been an interesting concept to me. I know that we have angels and demons and devils and all this other stuff that they have been referencing throughout the entire series, but the idea that aliens have somewhat of a connection in the creation of mankind has always been a more interesting explanation for me for God and his powers throughout the American Horror Story universe, and I think that they could use this season to not only bring them back but also help explain that even further. Plus this would allow a lot more of a catharsis for almost every American Horror Story fan where you would get a chance to go back and watch the characters from one of your favorite seasons interact with each other and give a little bit more weight or at least an epilogue to each and every single one of their stories. The one season I feel like they wouldn't do anything with because we've already seen it throughout the series is Murder House. I felt like with American Horror Story Apocalypse, they did their best to wrap up all the storylines from Murder House, and with the change in history that happened at the end of that season, there's no real reason to go back and help everyone. Although, I will say that the Harmon family did kind of get screwed over by the change in history because all the fracturing that was done between those characters in that timeline had already occurred at that time when they went back to stop Michael in the first place. So maybe we could go back and figure out what happened to them, but I don't think it's very necessary based off what we saw in season eight. Finally, I just want to make it absolutely clear that the 10th season of this show does not have to play out this story. It doesn't have to bend over backwards to connect everything that came before in order for me to look at this entire series and feel like it was a success. The only reason I'm making this video and the only reason I want to talk about this is because the people in charge of it have been promising us for years that everything is connected and by the end of all of this, we're going to be able to look back and see all of the connections for what they are. And while I would argue that that is true just based off of all the connections that we've seen throughout the last couple of seasons, the promise in general to connect all of the seasons is still one of the biggest question marks over the course of this entire series. Are they going to do it? How are they going to do it? And will it be satisfying to the average fan? I'm still thinking that it's possible, but it's definitely not something that needs to happen in order for me as a fan 
to go back and watch a single season or the entire series all over again and feel complete as a viewer who's been watching weekly ever since the start of the entire series. It's good for what it has been. I'm glad that they ended up doing it. I'm glad it's lasted so long. And while it would be disappointing if it ends at season 10, it would still leave quite a big impact in my life. And I'm hoping everyone who's listening right now feels the exact same way. So the question remains, guys, what are your thoughts and opinions about season 10 of American Horror Story? Do you think it's going to be more than 10 seasons as I've argued on this channel in the past? Or do you think it's going to end next season and next season is going to be a wrap up season? It's going to be a standalone season or whatnot? If it is a connection season, what is your pitch? What is your thought on how they can connect all this stuff? Is it broader than the nine circles of hell and playing off Dante's Inferno? Or does that seem on the money to you? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. It's been real.